What's going on guys? Welcome to Rotorat. My name is Alex Vanover and on today's episode I'm going to be letting Ladrib and Let's Fly RC fly my dream setup. This is the CL1 VS, which stands for Vanny Style. I worked with Drew and Andre to make sure we had a lighter weight version of the CL1 that was a lot more rigid, which helps the quad fly a lot better in the air. But what we're really, really excited about is right in here. This is the Fetech, which runs Kiss Farmer, which some of you guys who've flown FPV may know. But it's a lot better hardware, in my opinion. And that's what I'm excited to show these guys today. I want to show them just how good my setup flies. I'm not going to try and brag out the props, motors, or anything like that. In my opinion, after two years of showing up to Road Ride episodes, you know, struggling to have a consistently smooth flying quad, I feel like I finally found that setup and I'm very excited about it. Can I fly as good with a session as I can with a hero? On hyper smooth. That's the test, I guess, right? Ooh, interesting. Yeah. That's a good test because you always want hyper smooth. Alright, here we go. You have some Drew Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's. <sighs> There's something different about it. It's really smooth. Does it sound different to you? Yeah, it sounds different. Like it's not warbling. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Right? Uh, I pulled out. <laughs> I just pulled out of a split S and it didn't like prop wash. Oh my gosh, I can hit the throttle and it's yep. like, <laughs> it's not like shaking on beta flight on my quad. Look at this cheese ball face. It's just, <laughs> ah, the amount of time I have spent. You've been there when this I've been complaining. Really, yeah, you, no, you never stop talking about Kiss. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm not flying that garbage. But wow, this is, this is really good. This is really smooth. Like, I don't, oh, this is so cool. Like, I don't think I've seen a single bit of prop watch the whole time I've been flying. I see what you're saying. Maybe I, maybe I could fly this without hyper smooth and be happy with the outcome of the footage. Don't you love just being able to advance the throttle and not getting those like mid throttle or full throttle? Yeah, I want to tr try that thing. There's going to be a oh lot. Oh my of, gosh, there's like nothing. There's going to be a lot of people who talk about how beta flight and flight one can fly this smooth. And they're right. I've had beta flight quads fly amazing. I've had flight one Falco X quads fly amazing. The difference is the consistency has never been there, and it seems like when you fly in a new environment, sometimes the, the way they fly changes. KISS, for me, on Fetech gear has been very consistent across the board in its smoothness, and it's the easiest to get to fly that smooth, because it does it on stock, which Betaflight does not fly this good on stock. No, I don't want to tune anything. I don't want to yeah. tune anything. I hate tuning. I don't want to spend the time on it. I just want to fly. And if you've got an awesome tune, then I'll just take yours. Yeah, you can take mine. This is awesome. I actually want to give a quick shout out to Vic FPV. He's one of the guys who's one of the hardest like rippers in FPV freestyle, I would say. And he flies Fettech on Kiss. And I was messaging him a few months back, and we were talking about it. He was like, "You got to try it. It's awesome." And he gave me some tuning tips. And I want to thank him. It's so much easier to orbit. Like yep. it just seems like all the tricks that I do normally are easier to do with this. Woo! Through the tree, that was cool. Oh boy, here's some scraggle, and I missed it all. Oh, I did at first, and then I didn't. <laughs> That's not that. That was a lot of fun. That was really cool. I liked that a lot. Yeah, I, I definitely gonna build one of these. After that flight, like I, I'm very hesitant to switch from Beta Flight because I'm so familiar with. It. I've been fighting with Beta Flight for like six years, so I'm very familiar with all the menus and everything. So getting me to switch to another flight controller is gonna be really hard. But after flying that. I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, I, my tunes. I literally felt what you were talking about when you said you don't need hyper smooth. You just fly it, and I could feel that. Like it was literally smoothing up my 
my movements of my sticks and I wasn't having to, I wasn't seeing that jerky motion. Like I, I tried to force the jerky motion and I couldn't even force it. It felt like the rates were a little bit lower than what I fly and that was the only thing that I would complain about probably. If I hit the rates the way that I normally like them, I would probably just love it completely because I mean, it the way that it flew, the fact that when I pulled out of a dive, it didn't oscillate. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was just so much great things about it. The last time I used Kiss, every time I descended, it would shake on me. And I was just like, nope, I'm done with KISS. And I stopped using their stuff for about three years. And I just never wanted to go back. But after that, I mean, it's worth trying, I think, for sure. It's going to feel different, but it's also probably going to feel more powerful because it's 6 cell. But I'm used to wide arms, which drag more. I'm used to a much heavier drone. So this is lighter. I have flown this with a Hero 7 recently. And I actually did like the way it flew. I could have definitely tuned it for a little bit of extra weight. Um, but this is tuned for like 630 grams all up weight. It's a very, very lightweight drill. So I've been flying Betaflight pretty much since I started flying FPV. It's just what I started with. I've gotten really familiar with it. I know the system in and out pretty well. And I've dabbled with some of the other systems like Flight 1 and KISS in the past. And I was just, I don't know, I just never really like cared enough to switch. Uh, KISS specifically, I only tried one time. and I thought it flew okay. And then I tried tuning it and apparently I committed some sin where I changed the filters. The point is it caught on fire. I was going to say, did it catch on fire? It caught on fire. Because I had a lot of KISS stuff catch on fire. And, and everyone, everyone who knew KISS that saw me did, what, you're not supposed to do that? I'm like, how am I supposed to know? I don't know. But either way, I, it works really well for some people. It's just, it didn't work for me that one time, and I wasn't motivated enough to try it again. But Vanover won't shut up. <laughs> about this Fetex stuff, so. I, I wish we had like a two-year compilation of my misery trying to get a good freestyle quad to fly. Alex won't stop talking about you He won't stop. Just kiss this and kiss and that. And I was not interested in trying it until I saw this. Ready? Have you guys seen this? Look at this. I'm gonna arm He's it. He's gonna arm it. And then when you disarm it, it makes a sound. That How cool, cool is that? That whole like, <laughs> oh, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't speak up. I can see the smile. <laughs> He's trying not to like it. He doesn't want to. It's fine. It's fine, it's he fine. says. I like it. <laughs> it's, you know, it's just whatever. Yeah, right. I don't buy that. Just do a split S. Yeah, do a split S and see what you like. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's good, right? <laughs> oh my god! And it's so hard to put my finger on it. Yeah, I don't I know. know what it is. It's just um, it's smoother. It's like really good. It's really good. Like I can't make it. Uh, let me just try and do some stupid things. Like if I just go like. <gasps> what? The I know. <laughs> There's no. Oh, I got a little prop wash. Okay, like one. No, that's incredible. There's I like know. no prop wash. Okay, so one of the one of the secrets to being smooth is like when you come out of a split S, getting on the throttle early. So right now I'm applying throttle, and that's how you fly out of your prop wash. I'm gonna break that rule, and I'm gonna do another split S, and I'm really just gonna like kind of dump it in there, and right, kind of like, gush, what? Like doing it like that, waiting that long to add in the throttle, forces you into dirty air, like, and that's what makes split S is not smooth. It's weird like that I could get away with that. It is worth noting that Drew is flying a lower latency 2.4 system. You fly Crossfire normally. This is TBS Tracer, which is a three and a half millisecond, I think, 2.4 latency. In my experience on this quad, that's not what made the difference in terms of smoothness necessarily, but it definitely is nice. I feel like I, I feel, can, like I can feel the responsiveness. So I don't know like how much of what I'm feeling is, oh, there's power lines. Uh, <laughs> I know some of what I'm feeling is that decreased latency and I wouldn't have thought it would make such a big difference, but I can feel it. But also there's just like, like I feel like when I move my fingers, the drone moves. Do like a slow increase of full throttle and experience no shakes. Nothing. Yeah. It's nice, right? So one thing that I'm notorious well, for But what if I about, just like punch it? Okay, so you get a little bit of that bunny hop. Yeah. Okay, but the so eye you is get stock. that bunny hop. The, the eye is stock though on this quad. So maybe with a little bit of eye term tuning, you yeah. could get rid of some of that bunny hop. But yeah. but I do like, I mean, that sort of jabbing is something that I avoid anyway. It's really yeah. counter yeah. to my style where I want to be smooth. So let me do what I would what I would say would be like the most aggressive throttle ad. Let me like pull out of a dive. So I'll like kind of like dive this tree and wait till the last minute. Whoosh. 
I got a little bunny hop. There's a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But I think that can be tuned out. My PIDs are tuned, but the filters are stock. I think I raised roll P and pitch a little bit, and then I increased the D term a little bit as well. I'm gonna try a little bit. And that bit was of it. A... But on stock PIDs, I flew this thing and it was beautiful. What? Isn't it nice? I'm just like dancing up in here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, the battery's probably about finished. No, it's not. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You're flying a dumb crotch right now, too. It's pretty smooth. What is this happening? <laughs> yes. You hear how smooth it is? Oh, there's a pole there. Oh, but it's in it. You just won't stop flying. The battery is literally dying, and you're just going to keep going. What? Are you seeing what's happening here? Okay, yeah, this battery's toasted. One, this one. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, right, it's, it's okay. Fine. I'm gonna get the call. <laughs> Guys, when you have a quad that flies well, you know this, you you naturally push it. Yeah? Like, yeah, I was you having naturally fun. push. You I was having a good time with that. Can you use, do you have to use Fatech ESCs? No, you can run uh, the Fatech FC. Um, it also integrates with KISS. Well, you still, do you think you'd still get that good of performance out of it? I don't know. I don't think so. So the secret sauce is the ESCs. Yeah, there's a build video for this exact same setup. So if you guys want to have the same experience, be sure to check out the Road Riot store. Check out the build video. I don't want to waste time tuning. I've spent yeah. so many hours tuning a quad. I just want to take your tune and just fly yeah. it. So I'm good. It's you just tune up. You do all what you want to do. Link in the description, Alex is tuned. So if you have the setup. setup. At the end of the day, go out. Fly, enjoy the hobby, have fun. Fly with some pals and That's just enjoy the hobby. Still got some sunlight here, so let's get out and rip. Thank you guys for hanging out. Enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't, Don't forget, forget the, the bell! bell.